What's up guys? Hello, five minute client lab review. Okay, today the client that we're gonna review is a client that is high stress, uh, has a history of UC ulcerative colitis and other digestive issues. And then from the labs that we see, there is a little bit of uh, inflammation, cardiac inflammation in the body as well. So we're gonna address all of those. All right, and this client, uh, I would like to say, uh, is a perfect example of thin on the outside and she's not fat on the inside by any means, but there's issues going on. So that's why you can't just set a weight loss goal and think if you get to a certain weight that it's going to improve all your health markers and you're gonna feel a ton better. It can definitely help, don't get me wrong, but this client is very, very lean and has some health markers that are elevated that need to be addressed um, due to lifestyle basically and some uh, medical history. So uh, like I said, this client does have a long time history of ulcerative colitis. She also has a lot of hormonal imbalance issues um, as well that she's had for a long time that we're working on. Um, but the big one, the, like I always say, we're going to knock down the biggest domino first. That's what my mentor taught me to do. And that's what we're going after here, which is gut health and stress management. If we can get those in place, like I've said on almost every one of these videos, hormones travel in packs, okay? You're not going to just have like one hormone off and all the rest be in normal ranges. It doesn't work that way. So if you go after the biggest domino and you can bring that back, other levels can start to normalize on their own. They may need a little bit of extra TLC once you get your biggest domino down, but you always go for the biggest domino first and then see what kind of effect that has on everything else since those hormones travel in packs, okay? So first up, we see here on page one, the bun, the AST, and the ALT are all elevated. AST and ALT are liver enzymes, and then the bun has to do with the kidney. So basically, well, just looking at it first, you're just like, huh, okay, and then this is why you dig further into the labs to see what else you can find. From what I've gathered from this in the full labs as we'll go through it, this is related to gut health issues. Your liver enzymes can be ele elevated for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, alcoholic fatty liver disease, uh, an overuse of um, ibuprofen and Tylenols and things like that can cause it. Poor gut health is a common cause as well. Um, so just you know, just saying that there could be lots of reasons. That's why you look at the full comprehensive panel and then you can narrow it down. This client does not have the alcohol issues or the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This is 100% related to gut health issues. Okay, so there's the first red flags that we see. Going to the next page here, we see high cholesterol. And so the cholesterol can be related to high stress levels. Um, when cortisol is elevated, it can elevate cholesterol as well because the cholesterol is not getting absorbed properly in the body. So it signals the body to actually make more cholesterol. Um, and then another reason it can be elevated obviously is diet. So this one is a little bit of both because you're gonna see here in a minute, another marker that shows us that is high that would be related to this, another cardiac marker, okay? And then uh, you can see that her vitamin D is really low. So we need to get that up as well. Uh, it's at 31, ideally that's between 60 and 80. All right, next page. This one is called the C-reactive protein or CRP. And basically what this is, is a generalized health marker of inflammation in the body. And the higher this number is, the more likely you are to have plaque in your arteries. You want this number under one, okay? So on a scale at seven, that may you maybe say, oh, that's not a really big number. Actually it is, okay? If you put it in perspective of how, how the scale runs, okay? Under one is where you wanna be, five is really high, seven is very high, okay? So this is telling me that we need to um, work on stress management and bringing in the diet a little bit, um, and those are the big ones. And the next marker here that you see on this same page is that her cortisol is low, it is very low. So that's another indicator of being under chronic stress for a long period of time, it's chronic. And it too, being under this chronic stress and having this low cortisol levels can affect the CRP, can affect the cholesterol levels, can affect the gut health, and the gut health can then affect the liver enzymes. So you can see here how it's just kind of a train. 
So with this client, what we're doing is the first thing I did was I pulled all exercise for two weeks. She couldn't do anything but walk and a little bit of restorative yoga. She needed to rest and then we needed to focus on stress management tools as well. So I gave her a few things that I give to clients that I like them to do, which is warm baths in the evenings, walks, um, the restorative yoga, some breathing techniques, and then it's up to the client to pick and choose which one of those that they can use and will use, and then find other tools as well to help them throughout the work day or whatever it is that's causing the amount of stress on their system to try to deflect some of that in a way so that it is not bothering them to the extent it is. And it takes a long time. You guys know that you can't just turn over on something like that. So it's just small, daily changes, constantly implementing them and practicing them to um, to change, like you're never gonna change the triggers. What you have to change is your response to the triggers. So small behavioral mindset habit changes day in and day out, constantly practicing those to change our response to those triggers because it is affecting the health. It's in black and white now, we see it. It is 100% affecting the health. So we have to work on that. Then for the cholesterol and the CRP, bringing in a ton of extra virgin olive oil, flaxseed oil, pulling, um, pulling red meat for a little bit. Not that like grass fed red meat is bad, but we just need to get it down. It's actually really good, but we just need to get it down. So I'm pulling anything and plus red meat is hard to digest and we're having some digestive issues because the liver enzymes are elevated. So as with that, I also, she is gluten free and dairy free, which she's basically been practicing that anyways, because of the um, UC that she has. So gluten free, dairy free, red meat free, um, all exercise for two weeks. And then after that two week period, I will slowly start introducing exercise at a moderate rate. So where she'd been normally working out at like a nine out of 10 in intensity, we come back in at a five and we slowly start bringing that in to improve her, um, her, her stress response and try and help her body come out of this. We got on some supplements to help elevate the cortisol levels. We got on some supplements to help lower the cholesterol levels and the inflammation in the body, that cardiac inflammation. And then we, uh, I cleaned up the diet. It, I mean, she's been with me for a while and had a pretty good diet anyways, um, but we really tightened down on it because the biggest um, complaints with the UC that this client has is the frequency of going to the bathroom and the consistency of going to bathroom. And we needed basically to solid solidify her stool and reduce the frequency. So we have to change that with food and stress management. And then pulling, oh, I pulled all alcohol as well, um, just because that is an inflammatory marker and it can really screw with the bowels. So that's what stress and um, poor gut health and a little bit of cardiac inflammation can look like and the symptoms that you can have and how bad you can feel um, all easily fixed. You just have to do the work and change, like I said, habits, mindset, and responses to triggers. And you can come out of this and feel so, so much better. So, all right, that is my review. This one went over again. I may need to just change the name from five minute client review. I've only had a couple that actually fit into that five minutes. I think staying under 10 minutes is pretty good, uh, especially because these cases, they're not simple cases. You know, there's a lot going on to it. And I just want to explain the full gamut of what we're looking at and why, why one thing affects the other. Like I said, hormones travel in packs, okay? And so if you've got something going on over here, we're probably got something going on going over here. And we just, you have to work on it systematically. But anyways, all right, you can find all the information about my programs at CynthiaWilliamsWellness.com. And thank you. See you guys in the next video. Bye.